Why waste time in commute and spend a lot of money for neat UG coaching? Parents, do you want your kids to achieve top scores in NEAT? India's leading online NEAT coaching, 100% success. Meet UG. Teeneinstein.com. At Teen Einstein, we focus on NEAT coaching from class 6 to class 12. We think you'll like it. Our teachers are mostly PhDs in physics, maths, chemistry, botany and zoology, with lots of years of teaching experience for class 6 to class 12. Thousands of videos, quiz, MCQs. We provide a daily worksheet of 30 questions on each topic, math, physics, chemistry, and biology, for rigorous practice, concept understanding, evaluation, quizzes, and thousands of videos. Limited offer, 40,000 per year. Book your class. T9Stein.com, contact 99402 49720. Hello students, welcome to the POIQ discussions on NEET use papers. Here, I have got a problem from NEET use paper 2021. The question says, find the value of the angle of emergence from the prism given below for the incidence ray shown. The refractive index of the glass is square root of 3. So, as you see from the figure, that this is the triangular prism. This is actually the refracting surface, refracting surface, refracting face also you can say. This angle is 90 degree and the incident ray is normal to the refracting surface. And as we know, when a ray incidents normally on the refracting surface, it will pass through the surface without any deviation. So the situation is something like this. So as you see this blue ray, this is actually the ray which is directly passing through the prism and falling on this surface. Okay, this is another refracting surface. And look here, this angle since it is passing Di directly this refracting surface so this angle will be 90 degree okay and see this is 60 degree this is 90 degree so this angle will be 30 degree okay so what is this angle this is 60 degree so if we consider this point of incidence on this refracting surface this is the normal as you see this dotted line Okay, so this ray is actually falling on this refracting surface at an angle 30 degree. So we have got angle of incidence here. We have we have a refractive index known for the glass and for the AR it is 1, we know that. So you have to find out what is this R. If this is I, you have to find out what is this R angle. This is very simple. You have to apply Snell's law. The main point where main points were here. Okay, you have to find out the correct angle of incidence inside the prism. So we have got square root of three angle of incidence sine thirty degree. That is equal to one. That is the refractive index of the air sine r. So I have to find out what is R. So this will give you sin R is equal to root over 3 by 2. And you know sin 60 degree is equal to root over 3 by 2, right? So this implies R will be 60 degree. So angle of emergence of the ray will be 60 degree from the prism, okay? And option C is the correct answer for this question. Thank you. Why waste time in commute and spend a lot of money for IITJE coaching? Parents, do you want your kids to achieve top scores in IITJE? India's leading online need coaching 100% success IITJE.
At T. Einstein, we focus on IITJE coaching from class 6 to class 12. We think you'll like it. Our teachers are mostly PhDs in physics, maths, chemistry, botany, and zoology, with lots of years of teaching experience for class 6 to class 12. Thousands of videos, quiz, MCQs we provide a daily worksheet of 30 questions on each topic, math, physics, chemistry, and biology, for rigorous practice, concept understanding, evaluation, quiz, and thousands of videos. Limited offer 40,000 rupees per year, book your class. t